So a little while ago, I did a review on this WPL and it kind of sucked. The drive shafts fell off, the leaf springs fell off, the steering is just full one way or full the other, nothing in between, and it had no power and got stuck on absolutely everything. So, I have this one here. Also, we're going to have a look at this one here and this one here. And have a look at this one here too, which is actually quite special so at a first glance it actually looks exactly the same as this one here oh supple so tire wise the newer one definitely has much more grip look at that these are all nice and soft and then looking underneath the old one has pushed on drive shafts that's why they keep falling off the new one has them screwed on power wise we can see the motor here poking out of the back on the old one the motor's hidden all the way up in there so i'm guessing this one's gonna have a little bit more power steering on the old one it was just all or nothing on the new one it appears to be proportional leaf springs appear to look fairly similar to the old one so in this video we're going to find out if it's going to be any better or not so in the box you get the car controller battery charger spare leaf springs and the instructions and to charge it up you plug that into there and that into a usb port and the controller requires a couple of double a batteries that you've got to supply yourself all right all charged up and the battery lives under the bonnet or the hood depending where you're from <laughs> oh guys that steering actually has some power all right, guys, I'm starting to get impressed with it. We've got headlights. And with the steering being proportional, look, we can steer a tiny little bit. And we can steer lots. All right, now for the power. Has it got any? So we can go slow and fast. Well, faster. So now let's see if we can do a hill climb. The older one, the original one, would have had no chance at this. So I'm just giving this a little bit of power there, guys, so we can just crawl up there really slow. Oh, we go flat out. <laughs> so if we compare that to the old one, steering, it's just all or nothing, and it's got no power there. And when it comes to driving, it's just on and off. And, well, it's barely even moving because these drive shafts are slipping. All right, let's see what happens. I was going to put a little bit of super glue onto the drive shaft here just to hold it on. So that we know which one is the sucky one, I'm going to put a bit of tape on it. So there we go, we've got the one that sucks. Oh, check it out guys. The more that I'm looking at these, the more I'm liking them. So underneath, similar to this one, but where this one's got leaf springs, this one here's got kind of these fake oil filled shocks it'd probably be nice in the future to modify these for some proper oil shocks so the tires have got roughly about the same amount of suppleness to this one here but obviously this old one here they're a lot harder this one here which is a kit built version we're gonna have a look at that in a little while these tires here actually really nice and soft all right let's get the battery in and give it a blast look at that we've got headlights steering plenty of speed and power and it's proportional which means you can steer a little bit or you can steer a lot just like in a real car and you can go slow or fast so here's full speed and here it is on a hill climb all right so we can go nice and slow look and then we can floor it <laughs> Oh, tumble wumble. So this one here, not really a crawler, but it still looks pretty cool. So we've got double wishbone suspension up front, proportional steering again by the looks of it, axle on the rear, and it's all made to look pretty realistic. Battery under here, we've got a little bit of interior going on in there, look. And this one's got a few buttons on the radio, so we're going to get some batteries in there and see what it does. Oh look, this one's got headlights as well. So steering, and power, or you can go slow, or when you can go fast. <laughs> that is pretty fast actually. 
Oh, 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 uh oh. So this one here, it's not really for crawling, but it looks like you can put quite a bit of weight in the back of it. <laughs> Guys, that's pretty heavy now. Is it gonna move? <laughs> no, no. So the reason it didn't move is because when the suspension's pushed all the way down, look, the tires hit the body. But we can make a bump stop. All right, will it move? Oh yes, look at that, off it goes. Definitely not for this surface. So next, we're gonna go with a sucky one, which is probably gonna get stuck as well, maybe even fall to bits. And then guys, it should get better. I'm actually doing better than I thought it would. Can make up the little hill? Oh, come on! Come on! <laughs> That's it, we're stuck. <laughs> no hope. And now the better one. We got the proportional steering. We got the proportional throttle. Will it make it up? Oh. Come on, come on. Hey. Oh yes, a lot more controlled. Full speed. So that might be a little bit difficult to see the difference on camera, but the difference is day and night. Next! So compared to this one, there's not really that much in it. The suspension does feel a little bit nicer on this one here because of the shocks. Other than that, it's actually pretty similar. So next, let's have a look at my favorite one, which is this one here. I've done a video on this one before. This was actually a kit version and I had to build it myself. And you probably want to be a semi-experienced modeler to put this together, but we've got four metal axles, metal drive shafts, two-speed transmission, Sound system, working winch, super supple tires, and the doors open, look at it in there. So first of all, we gotta start it up. This one feels super controlled. Look at those supple tires getting grip on there. Oh, look at that, falling straight over that. Definitely done the best job of all of them. And then on the hill climb, Oh, look at that, straight up. And also, it holds it really well, look. I'm letting go a bit. And then we can shift the gears. And now, it's gonna go faster. Back into low gear. Yeah, this one here definitely feels the nicest. Look at that, those supple tires making easy work of the terrain. High gear. Back into low. Check this out guys, working winch. It's got enough power to lift the whole car up, look. Don't know what's going on there. Oh, and on this one here, almost forgot to see what these buttons do. So this one here, trim, S-Rate. 
Ah, it's that steering travel. And this one here, I'm guessing, is to power. So full speed. Hit this. It's actually pretty fast for what it is, guys. <laughs> so guys, which one should you get? So this one here is without a doubt my favourite one. But you've got to build it and it's more expensive. This one here, definitely not for crawling, but it's pretty cool just to hoon about. With these two here, they're remarkably capable considering that they're cheap. So they both seem just as capable, so I think it's going to come down more to what looks you like. But I think I'm, I prefer the suspension on this one, but I prefer the looks of this one here. And this one here... Uh... But anyway, I'm now officially a WPL fanboy. And if you want to know where you can get any of these from, there's going to be a link to all the that down below. Subscribe and smash the bell. And I'll see you over in one of these videos here in a sec.